Hello everyone, it's Becca from Becca Books and Bujo, and today we are playing my deck of TBR game for the month of August. Here we are, playing deck of TBR again. It seems like just yesterday I was playing for July, but July has come and almost gone, and it's time to figure out my TBR for the next month. But before we do that, let's look at my July TBR and how I did with it. <laughs> or how I didn't do with it. It's more like it. Okay, it was a huge stack. I kept getting doubles, or I don't even remember why I kept having additional draws, but I had nine books on this TBR, which was huge for me. So let's just go through them quickly. Um, I got a book of the month prompt, and for that I chose The Inheritance of Orchidea Divina by Zarieta Cordova, and I did read that. We're just gonna take it off the stack if I read it. Ha, how about that? The next one was a Goodreads scroll, and for that I chose When We Were Bright and Beautiful by Jillian Medoff, and I did not read that. The next prompt was another Book of the Month prompt for Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I did not read that, but I am going to say I will read it by the end of the month because I want to read it for my uh, Catch-Up-A-Thon TBR. The next prompt was Friend Pick, I believe, and for that I chose Peace Like a River by Leif Inger. I did not read it yet, but I will. My, maybe not by the end of July, but definitely by the first Monday in August. Is that August 1st? Ooh, okay, well, I'll be reading that one as quickly as I can at the end of July or early August for a book club chat. Next prompt was a self-destruct book, and for that I chose The Bridges of Madison County by something, something Waller, John, David, something. Robert James Waller. Didn't read it. I'm terrible. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take these four that I didn't read off because it's just getting too heavy. The next one was a TBR jar pick and that picked The Low Land by Jhumpa Lahiri and I DNF'd this one, so counting it as a completed prompt. The next was another book of the month, is that true? Yeah, and I chose Wayward by Amelia Hart. Didn't read it, oh my gosh. This is going terribly. The next one was another book of the month and I left it open to what I received in my July book of the month box and that was Hello Stranger by Catherine Center and I did read this one so that's a win. And lastly it was a husband pick and he chose Papisho by Leona Ross and I did read this for my favorite booktuber's favorite vlog which I will link up above. So technically I read three DNF'd one so four of the nine I read. So yeah, it's going to be a loss. I uh, I was going to say maybe it could happen by the end of the month, but it really can't. So I went ahead and spun my punishment wheel. And I need to add a bomb book prompt. Uh, and by that slice of the wheel, I meant add it within this part of the prompts, the board. So... I am just going to add this flimsy bomb book prompt that I made right before filming uh, to this empty spot because I would have filled it with a different prompt anyway. Uh, and so if I draw a six of spades, I will have to read the bomb book. Or if I draw a joker, I'll have to read the bomb book. Just doubles my chances. Speaking of bomb book, we need to replace the old one. This was The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. Here's my bomb book. Here it is. Uh, I just replace this every month to keep things fresh. So what's the next one? Purity. It's by John Franzen. Jonathan Franzen. So again, if I draw a joker or a six of spades, I will read Purity. <sighs> there are quite a few books I would like to get on my TBR this month, but also just hoping it's a smaller month because nine was a lot and obviously didn't stick to it very well because I only read four of them. I read a lot of other things this month, but just didn't stick to my TBR like I should have. So anyway, got my cards. We're gonna shuffle and do my first draw. All right, draw number one is a king. A king is a spinner wheel. Did not prepare for this whatsoever. Just a second, let me get my laptop. Okay, so I have this spinner wheel that relates to different genres. And I will look at the video that I recorded probably about a year ago now where I talked about all of the physical books on my TBR. And I will see if anybody commented a book on that video and read that one. So let's spin this wheel. Interesting. 
interesting. Book of the month. Okay. I'm going to go to that video. So the first comment was, I've been interested in Malibu Rising. Not sure if I'll get to it, but if I come across it, I will definitely pick it up. Just hold Kaikei and I can't wait to get to it. Okay, so Kaikei is an option. Uh, then someone else commented Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. Someone else said this close to okay, another Kaikei, and another Paris apartment. So out of those, I've read Malibu Rising, so that's why I didn't include it in the first list. Uh, and I've read Paris apartment, so I have to choose between Kaikei and this close to okay. Oof, D. I started Kaikei last year in November, I want to say. So I'm hesitant to pick it up again just because I was, I, I soft enoughed it, right? And this close to okay, though, I'm not so certain of. I think I'm going to choose Kaikei. Just a second. Why I'm choosing the largest of these books, I don't know. Wow, I got to page 275 and I stopped. What's wrong with me? I don't know. Well, that means that the first 275 pages should go pretty smoothly and easily because I've already read them. But also I have this book on audio, so I think that that will help. I'm gonna go for it. I know that this is a lot of people's really favorite mythology retellings, and so I definitely wanna do it. Plus I used it as one of my um, bullet journal setup cover pages. I used Kaikei as the inspiration for a cover. So I really have to read it. I'm going to read it. Kaikei is my first book for August. I don't need to replace a prompt because these face card prompts stay on the board. So I'll put the king back in and shuffle. Draw number two. Here goes nothing. A five of diamonds. Are you kidding me? Fantasy. Kaikei is a fantasy. <laughs> All right. I don't even have a fantasy in mind. But I think what I'm going to do, because I want to read slash finish series, I read Akatar a year plus ago, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. And so I'm going to read the next one. But I don't even know what it is. Akamath? Akafas? Let me look. A Court of Mist and Fury. And I have these on audio, I believe on Scribd, so that should be easy to do. Okay, A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass is my fantasy book. What am I doing? Five of Diamonds, going back in. Oh, but before we shuffle, let's replace the Five of Diamonds with this prompt. A random letter for the author name. All right. Now we can shuffle. All right. Draw number three is a queen. <sighs> no. Okay. A queen is a self-destruct book, which we know I need to get to those, right? Um, I... Which one? I already have two huge books on my TBR. Akamath and Kaikei. Because I already took the punishment and I know I'm not gonna finish it in July, I will add The Bridges of Madison County by Robert James Waller back on to my TBR for August. This is a self-destruct book on my self-destruct video that I made back in November, so I need to read these before November. All right, that was my queen. I'll put this back in. And we'll do draw number four. Okay, draw number four is this card. Another, no, another queen. Okay, two of the same number slash letter in a row means I add a draw. And a queen, as we just saw, was a self-destruct book. So, we've got fantasy and a classic on here. Let's just go with the historical fiction. I'm just choosing out of blue here. We've got St. Maisie by Jamie Attenberg. I think this takes place in the 40s in New York, possibly. 
uh, and that's all I know. I'll add this to my August TBR. And like I said, two queens in a row means a sixth draw. And have I gotten any books that I've hoped to get on here? No, no, I haven't. Oofta. Okay. Draw number five of six is this card. An eight of clubs. Scribbed. Okay. Um, let me check if any of the books that I need to get to are on script and could count them because I'm going to be smart about this pick. Akamath is on script, but we're not gonna count that one. All right, I've got three options. Uh, I'm just going to, yeah, three options. I'm just gonna take them out and show you my physical version, but I would definitely be listening to them on script. So the first is actually the third in this series, the, the America series. I can't remember. Um, but that is called Ashes. This is by Lori House Anderson. We follow slaves in 1776. Pretty fun. I mean, not fun. <laughs> that sounded bad, but a really good uh, series so far. And Ashes is the third, so I'd be completing a series if I chose that. The other options are two that I have for my favorite booktubers' favorite final episode, episode four, where I read books from my favorite booktubers. And uh, I haven't announced the theme of them yet, but... I could either listen to Kindred by Octavia E. Butler or Ring Shout by P. Jelly Clark. So, oh, and the reason I chose this was because Whitney from Tibera's Den hosts a genre-thon where she gives you a genre prompt for every month of the year, and you have to fit that genre. And this, this month, it's actually more of an age range, and that is a children's or middle grade book. I believe that's the options and uh, Chains or Ashes by Lori Hells Anderson is middle grade. So I really don't know. Can I just leave it open or should I just pick one? Um, I think I'll get to all three of them regardless. So I'll just pick Ring Shout or something different. I think that's like historical horror. In America, demons wear white hoods. In 1915, the birth of a nation casts a spell across America, swelling the clan's ranks and drinking deep from the darkest thoughts of white folk. All across the nation, they ride, spreading fear and violence among the vulnerable. They plan to bring hell to earth, but even Ku, Ku Kluxes, I can't say it, even Ku Kluxes can die. Standing in their way are Marys Bordeaux, Boudreau and her fellow resistance fighters, a foul-mouthed sharpshooter and a Harlem hellfighter. Armed with blade, bullet, and bomb, they hunt their hunters and send the clan's demons straight to hell. But something awful's brewing in Macon, and the war on hell is about to heat up. Can Maris stop the clan before it ends the world? Yeah, maybe not something I'd pick up generally, but it's one of my favorite booktubers' favorites, so that's going on the TBR for, what was the prompt? Scribd, because I could listen to it on script. Let's replace that prompt with this swap. So if I get that, I can swap any book for a book of my choice. A book that I'd already picked, if that makes sense. Okay, Eight of Clubs, going back in the deck. And, oops, I lost some cards. I'm not cheating, I swear. Okay, this should be the sixth and final draw. And actually, yes, it is, because I decided any draws that are added on, so anything past five, don't count in any of the three, if I draw three suits in the five, that would add an additional. So we're golden with whatever I get, unless <laughs> I say that there are all these caveats to my rules, and they make sense in my head, but I don't think they make sense to you. Um, but if I get any of the cards that I've already drawn, the exact same card then I would have to add an additional draw okay that's not gonna happen though right five of clubs didn't happen okay five clubs nature on the cover let's see what we've got what is nature <laughs> nature on the cover 
So I'm going to add this one as a gimme, kind of, because there are leaves on the cover of Heartstopper, volume one. But I also am hoping to read all four volumes of Heartstopper and then watch the second season of the Netflix television show of Heartstopper. I thought that'd be a fun thing to vlog. The first time I read these, I don't think I talked much about them on my YouTube channel, so I thought it'd be fun to vlog. You can get my live thoughts as I go through them, and then also watch the, I think I'll probably watch season one again to prepare for season two. I don't know. That'd be fun. Uh, I think it comes out right at the beginning of August, so if I can get to this with nature on the cover, the leaves, uh, as soon as I can at the beginning of August, and then read the rest of the volumes and watch the shows. I thought that would be really fun for a vlog. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a fun vlog idea. I don't know. Uh, anyway, okay, those are my six draws. I did it. Hooray. Did I get all of the books I hoped for? No. But did I get some good ones? Yes. So let's review. For The Spinner Wheel, which led me to a book of the month, I chose Kaikei by Vishnavi Patel. And actually, it was Whitney from Tibra's Den. She chose that for me on a comment of that video. So thanks, Whitney. Um, then I got Fantasy. And for that, I chose A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. Who am I? Crazy. I don't know. We'll see. Then I got a self-destruct book. And for that, I chose The Bridges of Madison County by James, Paul James, what's his name? Robert James Waller. I got another self-destruct book and for that I chose St. Maisie by Jamie Attenberg. Then we got Scribd as a prompt and for that I chose Ring Shout by Pete Jelly Clark. And lastly, we got Nature on the Cover and I chose Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. These are the five of the six that I'll be reading in August, but hope to get to a lot, a lot more. Anyway, let me know if you have read any of these books in the comments and what you thought of them, if you think I'll like them, if you think I won't like them, let me know. It'd be fun to have some bookish conversation with you down below. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video on your way out. Consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to see more bookish and bullet journaling content from me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!